on the ground. I tell you what, talking of thin on the ground, are you still walking out with that Tilly? Yeah, why? What have you heard? Well, I haven't heard anything. I just wondered if she's coming to the gig tonight. Well, she might pop down, yeah. I'll tell you, Dwayne, that girl's far too thin for her own good. Well, I quite like him a bit thin, mate. Yeah. All right, cheers. Oof. Now, there was one other thing I've been meaning to tell you. Now, you see, the thing with me and Till, right, is... Oh, are you OK there? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. Let's just get going now. We've got a flat tire! <laughs> for his job. A puncture repair kits. Well done, Dad. Great. But i tell you what we need. Ah! There's a sink. That's a big building. They'll have a sink. Drink. Probably best if you go first, Dad. It says pull. Pull it. Scratches down the stairs. No, it's not. Scratches down the stairs. Oh, oh. Spray and spray advertising. Yes, okay. What I think we want is something, something warm, wacky, with with a good, feel good, feel, um, a, a sing along song. I mean, let's not, let's not make do here, Crispin. Tim, don't worry. I've taken all that on board. You're describing a very good pack shot. <clears throat> what, what do you mean, Crispin? A very good pack shot. Let me explain something to you. I've got a client coming through that door any minute who's just begging to part with about five million quid and I'm not going to stand in his way. Yeah. Uh-huh. W1 or W4? Uh, WC, actually. We couldn't use your lav, could well, we? What do you mean? This is an advertising agency, not public convenience. Uh, it's my dad. He's old. It's his first time in London. You know, he's all excited. Round and the left. Great, thanks. Be quick. Oh, what on earth is that? Shit. It's, um... I always take that off the bike, just in case it gets stolen. You know what they say, don't you? Here we go. Dwayne, watch this and you might learn something. Go on, then. Don't worry about the music. No, I sorted no, the music. We've got a circ you, you don't like our track? No, I don't like your track. What are you talking about? I've sorted the music. I've had a word with the man, and he's willing to do it. The and man? You should be pleased about it. The guy who won us three pencils last year and virtually carried that Firestone commercial. Van Gillis. Van Gillis. Van Gillis. Van Gillis. OK, to fix a puncture, what you need? Some strong glue. You need different sized rubber patches for different sized holes. Yeah. Dwayne, pay attention. OK. You need a bit of sandpaper for uh, something. And you need some fine powdered French chalk. Well, you haven't got any, have you? Tell you what we do. Why don't we use some Vim or Ajax? I better have some of that. I wonder if you can help me. I've got a bit of a migraine coming on. Bad one. In the loo, on the left, paracetamol. No, 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 no. Bungs me up. I know. They'll keep it where we keep ours. In the shitter. 
Have a look. And Dwayne, what? Don't talk to anybody. Something herbally. Try the kitchen top cupboard. There's herby things in there. <sighs> Left. What's she? What's she talking about? There aren't any drawers. I've uh, got a puncture. C can you handle it? Oh, sure. Yeah, I've done it before. Right. Fine. Bollocks to Van Gelis. You and your no creative talent have been belted. Fergus. 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 Please, calm down. Calm down, eh? Um, Van Gelis! I know, I know you must be gutted. You must be absolutely gutted. I think your ideas on this, have I said this, are absolutely creatively white hot. I really do. I really do. Absolutely. But you've got to trust them a little bit, uh, Fergus. Here's a funny thing. Look, they've got individually wrapped portions of vim for the bog. Well, that'll do the trick. Yeah? I mean, this could have been sent by St Christopher himself. Could have been, yeah. Right, so what you do, you sprinkle it on the patch. Yeah. That's it, nice and dry, and it... Once we've got him on board, then we can start to nudge him. Then we can start to push him a little bit more creatively, yeah? Yeah? So you've just got to trust him on this one, really. Come on. You can be all right, Fergie. Don't call me Fergie! The name is Fergus, Marcus. I'm sorry. I love Janet Sophia. Ah, oh, well, Dwayne. Better never late than never. Hi. All right, everyone. All singing out the same hymn book. Good. All right, Crispian. Super. Um, Ems, Marcus. Um, no more calls through on this line, please. Thanks a lot. Um, we've got the we've got the storyboard sorted out and the, the tapes tapes ready to run. Pencils all nice and sharpened. <laughs> yeah, Ems. I said no more calls. All right. Oh, fine. Yes. Um, yeah. Our client's here. I'll uh, I'll go and collect him. Um, I think we need we need another chair, don't we? All right. Howdy, boys. Mort Clayton. Before we commence, I'd like to just give you a little souvenir of this afternoon's action. <laughs> a little memento mori. I want you to take them home. I want you to put them in your kitchen, and I want you to keep your hands soft. Great. Well, gentlemen, I think we all, all know each other. Um, gosh, it's exciting to be here at last, isn't it? Well, I'll hand straight over to Crispian, who's, who's doing the presentation. OK, Crispian, thrill me. We open on a beautiful young Indian woman in colourful sari, doing the washing up copper bronze dishes, wearing her pinky gloves. Then we whip pan, this time to Japan, where we have a young lady in traditional Japanese outfit in a traditional um, setting, cleaning up some sort of tea spillage or whatever in her pinkies. Then whip pan onto Paris, and what would a Parisian girl do other than wash her poodle <laughs> in the pinkies? And finally, we cut to a magnificent Busby Barkley pack shot with a huge routine of, of dancing gloves around the line. Pinky, the world's best loved rubber glove. Now, I like that last bit about the Busby Berkeley thing there, uh, dancing gloves. You know, uh, you guys are paid to know your beans, and I'm sure you do, and I'm just a little old boy from Broken Hill, Texas, and uh, what do I know? But tell you how I was thinking of it. Now, taking that dancing image, if you made them sort of National Guard gloves, you know what I mean? And uh, the National Guard gloves are marching out across a dirty, filthy sink full of dishes, okay? You got the grease floating on the top there and everything, and they're marching out and uh, having a great old time. And then they encounter the enemy. Now, what's the enemy of my gloves? I'll tell you what it is, red and sore hands, okay? <laughs> so we got these red, scabby hands that meet them in the middle, okay? And they have a little bit of a battle there and everything. And this is where I thought my little device might come in real handy, as we just kind of give them each a a little Beretta, you see, like this. <laughs> and they just start blowing holes in them and everything. You know, and pretty soon them scabby hands are falling into the dishwater, and that dishwater turns into a, a lake of blood. <laughs> now, well, that's, that's a bit left field, isn't it, gentlemen? Um, that, that, that's that's uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, sexy, actually. I think that's, that's, that's probably very, very, very sexy. I don't know, uh, Crispin, if you have any initial instinct on that. The first time. That's better. 
ever I saw you. Still your a bit facey down over this yeah. side. Or vocal. Rose yeah. in your eyes. And funny, because when you come across, it's all bloody trebly up this side. And the moon and the really stars trebly. were the gifts you gave. I reckon this is that dead area to that we, what you were saying about. Yeah. We'll use this bit, I think, if we get some dancing in. Get some dancing. I think we will too, yeah. you know. Very basic, as I was saying. And then over here, for some reason, Endless skies. it's all trebly. Nice number though. This is nice, isn't it? It's got a good ending, that one. It's better so fast than that. I think we should do that tonight. It's a dirge otherwise. Oh, here he is. Look, here he is. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. Hello, Reg. Hello. Well, Hello. why was it this time? Why are you late now? Uh, it's a bus. Bus again. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Right. Well, see. <clears throat> I was waiting for it. I was on the wrong side. We were on the wrong side, weren't we? All we want you to do tonight, you see, Reg, is... Um, they must have changed Reg, the route or something because Reg, I did it. No, Reg, look, all we want you to do, just take these leaflets out onto the pavement and give them to people. No, Reg, the leaflets. And look, give them to people, one leaflet to one No, those are, that's yours. Yeah, I know it is. That's that, yours. It's advertising our karaoke evening this evening. Karaoke? Karaoke. Karaoke, karaoke. Oh, please listen to him, Reg. Reg. One leaflet to one person, and don't give them all to the same person this time, because it doesn't work. But they can give it to other people. No, no Reg, you give them to other people. I it's very simple. Right. It's not going to work. I can do okay. that. Okay. Right. Okay. Will you just do it? Look, let's pretend, Reg. I'll tell you what, what we'll do. There's bloody gloves everywhere. Yeah, well, anyway. Let's pretend I'm a punter in the street, right? And I see you. Hello. Hello there, Hello. Reg. Hello, Reg. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello. I see you and I think, oh, what's that you're advertising? Hey, hey, Koki, 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 Thank you, Reg. That's, 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 that's it, got it. All you've got to do is do that. Go out in the street and do that. Please. Yeah, you can show him now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Go out in the yeah. street yeah. and do that. Give them out. Go on. Yeah. For tonight, for tonight. Right. Quick as you can, Reg. Bye. Use the yes, door, bye, Reg. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. See you, Reg. Bye bye, bye, bye Reg. Go on, mate. Go down the oh, stairs. the stairs. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, great. You, you, know, you know what you can do now? Not come out. He's coming up. Oh! God. It's a trick, because there's no stairs there or nothing. Oh, they're not? No. Oh. Yeah, Off you go, Reg. Oh, good. I really don't think we've got the right bloke dealing with our advertising, you know. It's fine, he's got the gist of it. You reckon? Oh, definitely. Okie okay, cokey. Okay. Hello. Uh, Can you tell okay. me where the big old hall is? Mm -hmm. Used to be the Carlton Essex Road. Oh. I know, I know where, I know where that is. Where? I know where that is. Oh. I do know where that is. Do, do you, you want me to take you? Yes, there? please. Yes. Well, I'll tell you something, right? I'm not supposed to leave here, right? Yes. But I will. Oh, well, let's have a look. What have we got here? What have we got here? Uh, no, laser karaoke, it says. That's right, that's what we're doing tonight, laser karaoke. No, 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 no. Laser karaoke is where you've got a laser disc, you see? They've got yeah. hundreds of tunes on a laser disc, television's everywhere, got the words, and you look at the, you read the words, sing it. And that's why you all well, off the laser disc, Dwayne, proper Dwayne, band, everything. Dwayne, that's all very fine and modern. Yeah. But what, for instance, if a karaoke singer changes key, or sings faster or slower, or changes song? Yeah. I mean, how is all that technology going to cope with that? Well, it doesn't have to, because when you do laser karaoke, you sing pissed anyway. That's exactly my point. You see, we can tailor our accompaniment to suit the state of mind of the singer. All right, all right, all right. Let's put this to the test, all right? Let's pretend that I'm a punter, I've come in, and I want to have a go with you, right? Okay, fine. All right. Excuse me, Dad. Yes, Dwayne, what do you want? Can I have a go with your karaoke? Are you pissed or unpissed? I'm unpissed initially. Fine, OK. Well, let's try, um, Killing Me Softly with his song. That's a popular tune. I'll give it a whirl. Right, so you're telling me that I've got the mic and I can sing away and you're... I'll keep up with you. All right, no, you ready? I'm... Killing Me Softly with his smile. 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 Killing Me Softly. Well, I suppose so. You might have something. Uh, Maud, I just want to move on to possibly the most important ingredient, the music, the mood, the ambiance that carries the visuals. OK, Fergus, the tape. I think you're going to like this. January brings me down. February makes me fly. March and April go so slow. May it's only just so slow. But you know it's getting better I don't even need a sweater I call my baby on the phone She says, honey, please come home and Gloves, gloves Gloves, gloves Gloves, gloves, gloves Gloves, 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 gloves. gloves. 
I do like that sound. I like that sound a lot. I'll tell you what, that is the sound of pinky guards. So it's, a, it's a lovely sound. I mean, who are they? Who are the band? Ken Bishop's Nice Twelve. It's hard to love a man whose legs are bent and paralyzed. It's supposed to go down there, I think. No problem. Okay. See, I told you. Oh, fair enough. And the wants and needs of a woman your age, Ruby, I realize. But it won't be long, I've heard them say, until I'm not around. Oh, Ruby. Don't take your love to town. A ruby. For God's sake, turn around. One more time, boys. A ruby. Is that your tilly over? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I've been trying to tell you. Um, she is uh, pregnant. Well, I can see that, Dwayne. I mean, when's it due? Well, that's the other thing. It's um, it's Saturday. This Saturday. This Saturday. <coughs> right. Well, thank you. That um, the singer there was Barry. Uh, Barry from, well, he's from behind the bar over there. I think he's in with a very good chance of winning tonight's um, Star Karaoke Prize. You could, if you wanted, you could have the teddy. What we want up, bingo. Bingo, have a see, <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and, uh, but they're fond of each other. Isabel, small dry sherry, Dad? Yeah, please, Dwayne. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That brings to an end this evening's entertainment at the Lord Clyde in Essex Road. We'll be back, of course, so next right. week for so another right. evening of super laser karaoke music. Thank you. If a bear can't breathe in a bag, Gay night. Then where can he breathe? Gay night? Well, outside, but... What are you all about? So I've got a more a concern on my part, really, to look after these two now. Because right. I'm a family of two now, and you're going to be a family of one oh, yourself. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, three. <laughs> yeah, three. Well, that's, well, that's it, right. Oh, three three like me, that's <laughs> right, yeah. So we're very similar in that, that way. The same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because they take a lot of looking after us. Puppets. Oh, yeah, puppets. Yeah, yeah. They're like babies. They're very like babies. They're small. And they're a handful. <laughs> you get it? Oh, a handful. handful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Because sometimes you can't tell, can you? With the oh, God. Scan and everything. Oh, Tilly? Oh. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hello. That was a good evening, I think, wasn't it? Good, 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 evening. good gig, yeah. man. Good gig, man. He's had to let us go, though. No. He has. We mean let us go. He sacked us. Sort of. Oh, it's only a puppet race, don't. Hang on, let me get this straight, Johnny. You've rammed into the back of a parked disabled person's car. Yeah, oh, 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 don't panic, don't panic. Let's think about this. Let's think about it logically and legally. Do a runner. Yeah, do a runner. I phone the police, say the cab's been nicked. Right? Just do it. Just do it, please. Oh, that's so Hello, Valentino. The car's here. How may we help you? Dickie Valentino, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, there's been a mistake. You know, you want the Valentino Artists Agency. Yeah, oh, no, it happens all the time. I'll just transfer you. Please hold on. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Dickie Valentino here, Artists Agency. How can I, um, be a Dickie Valentino? That's right, yes. Who? The Ken Bishop's nice twelve. Oh, yes, well, and of course, I have been their agent for, uh, Soul Agent, of course, for many years now, although, you see, they've slimmed... A TV ad, but well, no, that that, that is uh, very interesting. Yes, um, I, well, I'm sure I can oblige on that score. That will be no problem. Yes, fantastic. Well, what we'll need to do, yeah, we'll have a, do you, what a Thursday? Do you? Oh, I see. Yes, I do. I, I would like to do a Thursday with you. Breakfast is ready. Breakfast. Come on, come away from that now.
Here. I found this banana. Do you want to give that a whirl? See how you get on. No, I think it's much better I got it all off my chest. What, the business about the baby coming? Yeah, I mean, you know, your family and everything, it's only right. I've got some other news as well. I'm going to have to split from the band. Now, before you say anything, I've made my mind up, my mind's made up, and that's it. When I've made my mind up, it's made up, isn't it? There's nothing I can do about it. There we are. Well, actually, that's fine. Don't try and talk me out of it, you know, because you can sit there till you're blue in the face doing that. I mean, I've got Tilly on me back, I've got a mum and dad coming down on me like a ton of bricks. I've got to start earning some regular money. We're not earning anything at the moment, are we? It's madness. Last night was a fiasco. Well, Dwayne, you know what I always say, don't you? Oh. You can't be an egg all your life. Exactly. That's my point. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I've got to start scoring my own goals, I reckon. Making my own bed, all that sort of thing. There's a sale at Susan's music shop. Temple Market. Islington, yeah. yeah. I think I'll have to start making my own mistakes as well. That'll help. So, yeah, um, of course. Um, let me just look at my diary and my folks should sign. That would be brilliant. OK, uh, just one minute. So that's... Um, oh, let me see... Um, three o'clock will be fine for me too. And it is... Um, Sprout and Sprout. Dizing Agency. It'll be Hurricane Mark II this time. That Mark I had me baffled a bit. I think this will be easier. But, uh, see, I can do all this now. I'm my own man, you see. Unlike yourself there, rehearsing away, pouring over new things and all that. Dwayne, just have a listen to this number, will you? I'm, I'm learning it for, um, I thought maybe some of the younger people in the audience would like it. It's, uh, it's apparently called A Space Oddity. Yeah. Written by David Bowie. Bowie, I know David him. Bowie. I know him. Yeah. He was a bit odd, though. You want to be careful doing his stuff. You know, he was, uh... Yeah, he was married to um, Mick Jagger. No, that can't be right. I think Mick Jagger was married to Bianca Jagger. Yeah, that sounds better, doesn't it? He had a funny name, though. I remember he had a funny name. What was it? It was like, was it ladies and gentlemen? Please welcome the thin white streak of piss or something his name was. Very odd. No teeth. Well, have a listen anyway. See what you think. All right, then run it by me. Grand control to Major Tom. No, there's no, I can't hear the keyboard. Grand control to Major Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom. I can't hear. Take what, your playing. sleeping pill and put your helmet on. <coughs> I can't hear the piano. Was here. Am I floating in a tin can? High up above the clouds. Owie, 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 owie. No, look, you say you Planet plug yourself Earth in directly. Is true, and there's nothing I can do about it. Dwayne, listen to this. This is a good bit. Bam, 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 don't worry, stay and there. I can find my way. I okay. want to know who shirts you're wearing. Now it's time to oh, yeah. your capsule if you daring. Cause here oh. am I floating round my tin can. High up above the clouds. Bloody hell. Tom to Grand Control. I've really met. That's it. Hey, Dickie. Dickie. Nothing. What are you doing in here? Oh, uh, I was suddenly confused as the layout of the flat, Wayne. My dad'll have a piss fit if he knows you've been in here. Yeah, what is all that about? This is his secret shrine to the Nice Twelve. Good God. Don't tell him you've been in here. And whatever you do, don't mention the Nice Twelve. I've got him on tablets as it is. Of course not. It'll kill him. Yes. Yeah, Dickie, I know why you were in there. Uh, what? You were looking for my dad's pile of saucy mags, weren't you? No. <laughs> well, you'll have no luck, mate. I live here, and I don't know where the bloody hell they are. Oh. Yes, well, I'll, uh, say to Tarvin, thank you. <laughs> 
Dickie's just been in, looking for your porno mags. You couldn't find him either. What do you think? It's coming on, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad at all, actually. It's good, very good. David Bowie, yeah. I, mean, I think people could dance to that, couldn't they? They could. And you know that solo business is really suiting you. You're looking very sharp there. I'll tell you what you're lacking. I'll tell you what you're lacking. What's that? Bit of percussion. You got a point there. Good with percussion, wouldn't it? Yumping, 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 yumping on the fuckers. Yumping, 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 yumping on the fuckers. Come on, take a try there, will ya? Come on. Hey, you remember when I was on Fortnite and that? You go yum, 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 you go about 12 mile top lap. Right? Now if you go yum, 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 156 mile, mate. Straight over. No problem. Port Stanley, 8 o'clock. Shut up! Hey, alright, alright, alright. Understood. No problem. Eyes right! What the heck? That's the Imperial War Museum, Johnny. We're going the wrong way. That's out. That's south. We've got to go north over the river to Soho, I told you! I don't remember nothing about going over the river. Have we got an advance party? We send them forward, have we? Do we know what's going on up there? There is no danger in crossing the London Road Bridge. There is not any military presence upon that bridge. Trust me. All right, we're coming up to approaching it very shortly. All right? I'm about. about. All right, pal, you got tanks through there. What's the matter with you? Stressed out. Right. You're stressed, Bill. What about me? Stressed out. River job. I've never heard it. Hang about. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty calm at the moment, but I'm not too happy. Have a peek at that. Put them down and keep your eyes on the road. You don't need binoculars. Jicky, you know what happens. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Best. Slow down. Right. Come on, bitch. No problem. Good. I'm in control. I'm in Come. control. It's all right, Jicky. No problem. All right. Eyes left. What? Sake, Come on! Come on. Hey, lest we forget! Come on! Alright, alright. Uncle the bridge. Alright, we'll get you there, Dickie. We'll get you there. We'll get you there. Right, well, we just have to do a quick left and then we're into Surrey and then we, everything will be fine. Right. Right. Can't, can't just, get, just approach the bridge and go over. It might be great, mine. It could be a good. TNT, anything could be happening. Me gone, hey, have you heard of it? Bridge too far! Hey, bridge up, I'm never quiet! Hey, you want that, Dickie? Oh, well. Left now, Johnny! So you want to go over there, do you? All right, all right, just next time round, just take it easy, take it easy, check it out, make sure nothing's happening. This is, this is really not helping my framework of mind. I need to be in a calm state and a serene state to negotiate with top people, top advertising people. Do you understand, mate? Coach party, German coach party on the left, Dickie. Just do one more, Dickie, go straight round. Don't get involved, don't look at them, right? Just, hey, just snog me, it acts as if nothing's happening. No, 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 you missed it again! Relax, Dickie! Relax! All right, we're going round now. Into Soho, River. drop me off, then bugger off. Oh, Here we go, Dickie. Please, please, please. Here we go. There's a big tip in it for you. I'm go I can't do it, Dickie! I can't do it! Sorry, Dickie, I'm sorry! Pull it, pull it, pull it here. What do you want? What do you want? I'll do it, I'll do it myself. Roger. Hey, Dickie, get your head down! One word, wanker! I'll find myself. Hey, Dickie, I'm Edward, is, it? is it going to be like those uh, heavy duty sort of denim trousers that they all wear, or fast cars, <laughs> is it? Rubber gloves. <laughs> As if. Funny. <laughs> no, no, it, it is rubber gloves, Mr. Valentino. It was a campaign we actually ran before, a couple of years ago. Oh. Pinky guards, pinky guards, softer skin is on the cards. You probably remember it. Card place, that one, no. No. It uh, won the flesh door at Cannes, Mr. Valentino. The flash door, of course. I remember it. I'm well done on that, by the way. I'm thanks. <laughs> thanks very much for that. <laughs> thanks. And we want what, what we've got you in for today is we want to use the nice twelve. You do your band in our new My campaign. My band in your campaign. In our new campaign. And I search high and low to get you 
that sound. Got the I right pulled, man. Oh, yes, you did. I pulled a lot of favours. I actually called in a lot of favours that were owed me at great personal expense and just to show that I do mean business. Uh, there's a Ooh. photo oh, of yes, the... Yes, uh, that's, that's them, nice isn't it? It's actually them, as I live and breathe. And uh, I searched high and low and uh, got you that sound. And, gentlemen, I don't think you'll be disappointed. You will find that sound side two, track three. The nice 12. I think, I think what we really that... want from you, Mr. Valentino, would be the band themselves. I think if, if we could actually record, re record with the nice 12 in a studio or something would be ideal, really. Oh, but what? Has it got a scratch? Yes, the man in the shop did say there were two. Yes. And that, um, oh. <laughs> yeah, um, Mr. Valentino, I think there's been a been a slight misunderstanding here. I mean, you've obviously worked very hard for us, bring, bring, yes. bringing in your, your picture and, and your record, mm -hmm. and, and thanks very much for that. <laughs> yes. But but what we really need from you, you see, is a, is a new live, high-tech, high-spec recording of your band, The Nice Twelve. You see, we we love that sound. We we really like that. Um, yes. That live sound. That's, the that's New Year's Eve really, feel, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. The, the client really went for that. Went oh. all over it. Did he really? Mm. Oh, the old lang syne, all that old bollocks. He's taking the piss. No, 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 uh, no, no, uh, no. But no. Mr. Valentino, the nice twelve, big production values, big live show, lots of audience, lots of atmos. But what's wrong with the track? I mean, it's very nice, very nice track. It's, yeah. Well, you see, what's wrong with it is we need the words changed to suit the name of the product. What yeah. we'd like from you is for you to sing "Glove" to where it says "Love Now." You need "Glove, Glove, 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 Glove." Got it. Clever. Peach. Very clever. I bet you thought that up. <laughs> yes, of course, it's making so much. I'm, well, I've, I knew that. Fergus is a bright lad, he did. Yes. Yeah, so you're saying you need the um, band to re-record it uh, live? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Alive. They've got to be a li alive. Band. Now, money. Yes? This will obviously incur you and the band in some considerable expense. Indeed. Um, <laughs> but we're talking a big media spend here, and I think it's safe to say we could probably find you 10k? Ballpark? 10k ballpark. Mm. Good. Yes, that's interesting. Oh, I, 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 I can live with that in my You're, you're happy with that? Yes, I think I think we can work with that one. Yes. And we'd obviously need it ASAP. ASAP. Mm -hmm. Ballpark 10k. Yeah, I, I've got all that. That's gone straight in and uh, you can rely on me because my catchphrase is, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> and you can. You can. Great. Him. Great. Well, I think we've done business, haven't we, we gentlemen? We, and I'll ASAP it. Uh, great. <laughs> well, personally, I've Trust got a rush. Um, but uh, thanks very much for coming in today. And uh, Fantastic. We need a home run here, Mr Valentino. Can we trust you? <laughs> That's great. You lovely, can. lovely. Thanks okay. very much. Nice one, Ricky. Uh, uh, Dickie. Uh, thanks for coming, then. I'll do that. Dad, Dad, look, got the job. Got the job. World's me own oyster now, and I'm my own man. That's what's happened. Mr. You're Mr. Whippy. No, Whippy. Ice cream. My Mr. Whippy. Is... Oh, Tilly, what has she done? Well, never mind. I think that's a very adult, grown-up thing to have done. Funny you should say that. That's what Tilly's dad said. He also said that in about a year's time, I might be in control of two ice cream vans. That's making twice as much money. Well, Dwayne, I have to tell you, I haven't let the grass grow under my feet here. I've been working on my new solo image. What's up? Have a listen to this. Susan's music shop. Chapel Market. Isn't it? Well, I hope that helps you up the stairs with your bloody gear at two o'clock in the morning. And I suppose that's going to get you a medium dry sherry, is it, in the interval? And that'll open your packet of peanuts after the gig? Well, maybe not, Dwayne, but I mean, at least it's not going to throw up in the sidecar. Oh, look, no towel. Oh, hello, Dwayne. You got the job then? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Wipey, very good. No, no, it's Whippy. <laughs> Tilly did this, it wasn't me. It's yeah, me. I'll bet she did. Uh, Kenworth, may I have a word on privé, si vous plaît? I was just uh, thinking on the toilet what a sound investment that drum machine of yours was, Kenworth. <laughs> Ken, if I said to you, 8K in the ballpark, ASAP, how would you react? 
How would you want me to react, Dickie? Exactly. Now, secondly, Ken, am I or am I not your personal manager and your sole agent? Our sole? Our sole agent? I mean, this is only seasonal work. Yes, indubitably, Dwayne, yes, yes. Now, Kenworth, over the last few weeks, I have been involved in tough negotiations with an advertising agency. Mm -hmm. Tough, tough negotiations on your behalf. Oh, what, you mean like Blackpool? Yes. No, no, it's not like Blackpool. That was a case of straightforward forgery, Dwayne. All right. No quarter was given, but at the 11th hour yesterday, bingo, breakthrough. <laughs> In an eggshell, Ken, they want you and your unique Ken Bishop sound for a TV advert music. Great. Yeah? And for that, they are willing to pay, wait for it, 8K. Think about that, Ken. That is 800 pounds. No, that's 8,000 pounds, Dickie. Hey? 8K, I think you'll find 8,000 pounds. K, it's sort of Italian for kilo. It's a lot of money, that. Are you sure? It is a lot. Thousand. Extraordinary. So, Ken, will you do it? Yeah, of course, Dickie. I'd love to do a soundtrack for a Fred, commercial. That's, of course, I told them. I told them yeah, you would do it. You'd will. be willing. And, and the I sound will. that they want is, is, yeah. is, a, is a cover version, you see. That's fine. I know lots of cover versions. Of course you do. That's all I know, really. Yeah, it's fantastic. But in particular, this sound is a sound that, unfortunately, was cruelly taken away before its time. It was cut down. It was just taken away. It's, um, yeah. what, a cover of a Jimi Hendrix song? Isn't it? No, Hayes no, no. That's the right that, lines. No, no, no. It, it's not Hendrix. It's further back, further back right. to a sort of smoother, mellower sound. Um. Jim Reeves, the Jim Reeves No, cover? no, it I is like not Jim Reeves. Jim Reeves. No, 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 no. He's dead, yes, but it's not Jim Reeves. No, it's a bigger, a big band sound that's close oh, to your it's heart. Nice. It's, um, a, a Glenn Miller. No, 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 Glenn, no, 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 no it is not um, Glenn Miller. Dickie, whatever you do, don't upset him, please. Dwayne. Trust me. The nice 12. <laughs> oh, you sob it. I know, I know. All we're asking is that you re-record Love, Love, Love. No, no, Dickie, no. Listen to you might be able to do it, Dad. You might be able to do it. Hey, Grand. Dickie, that sound, that sound went down with the band, Dickie. I mean, I could never, ever have respect to the band play any of those songs again. Yeah, and I respect you for that, Kim. With I, I respect have, you and as well, Dad. Respect I respect you. And I respect that respect. There's yeah. a lot of respect here, I expect. But think of this. The band respected you, Kenworth. Mm. They looked up to you. Mm. And I know full well, had they been alive today, they would say, go and do it, Ken. Re-record mm. that Ken Bishop Nice 12 sound yeah. for us. But they would. Of course they would. I think they would, Dad. I, I honestly would. think they would. They would. They would. Yeah. And I know it's... Not possible, but I don't know, Ken, if there were just some way we could somehow contact them and get their permission to ease your troubled mind about this wound that affects us all, this, to soothe you, to, to somehow reassure you that by doing this, everything would be all right. I don't know, Dickie, I mean, it's not possible. It's no, not it's possible. not possible. If only there were some way to get in touch with them. Focus, Kenworth, focus. Now, unhinge the portholes of your subconscious. Draw back the curtains of your memory. And together, we shall unravel the cavities of your mind. Oh my good God, I mean, how long is this gonna take? Please, please, please allow me the time, Bernie, carry on. Dwayne, if you please, the salt of life. Eh? Dwayne, salt of life. Mm -hmm. Bernie. Now, Kenworth, let the magic salts absorb into your body, through your pores, into your bloodstream. Bernie, I'm feeling a strange kind of tingling sensation. That's good, that's good. It's actually more like a sort of stinging sensation. It's sort of burning a bit. Please, 
you an idiot. It's all right, then. We'll switch the water around a little bit. That's right. Relax, relax. No tension, tension. sort of instrument. Trombone? Yes, a trombone. Very good, Ken. Yes, yes. He wants to speak to you. Bernie, don't frighten him. Don't frighten him. Don't frighten Ken? Titch? Yes, Ken. Bernie, you Scottish. Scottish. Ah, yes, me, Ken. There you do, Ken. Do what you like with the music, Kenworth. Adverts especially. Don't feel bad about it, Kenworth. We're on the high road now, Kenworth. It's up to you to take the low road. Do you ken me, Ken? I do, I do, Do you know? I do ken you. You do ken me, do you ken? I do. I'm going now, Ken. I'm drifting away. Bye. 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 There's one more question. Where do you keep your stash of porno bags? I keep them on the top. Mr. Cosmo! Uh, yes. Oh, yes! Where did you keep your bloody knife? Mr. Cosmos, Mr. Cosmos, are you in there? Yeah, yeah, yes, it's, it's only me, Mrs. McCallum. <laughs> Touch of the irritated bowel syndrome. <laughs> Be out in a minute. Well, I trust you on that one then. Okay. Do you know what? You the mean to say you made the right decision, you're doing the right thing. Now, oh, finally, we need to just give it that, whack it up with that Happy New Year sort of feel. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I okay. So, yeah. And, uh, oh, very important this, remember to change love to gloves. It's crucial for the product. Love okay, yeah, right, uh, we'll be off in a minute. Just hang on. Okay. New Year's Eve, what do you really mean by that? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, play! January brings me down February makes me frown March and April go so slow May is only just so-so But my June I'm feeling better I don't know, something about a sweater Love, 
love. You need love, love, love. This is exactly what was not on the brief. This is way, way, way off the brief. Secondly, Mr. Valentino. this is utter, utter shite. It's piss poor. To be, that man has fucking insulted me. Tim, there's no need to get personal. No, no, there's no need to get personal. Well, of course, we can always remix and re-edit that. I mean, it's a demo version. Yeah, Mr. Valentino, we don't want to remix or re-edit anything. We want the original sound. Yesterday's sound. The sound we discussed at length in our first meeting. The New Year's Eve, the party atmos, the, the live recording. I mean, this thing sounds like it's been recorded on some sort of Fisher-Price kiddies toy. Well, surely yeah, there's been a misunderstanding. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, I, I think there has been some sort of misunderstanding. I think Mr. Valentino misunderstands that this is some sort of professional outfit we're running here. I think he misunderstands that somebody is prepared to spend three quarters of a million pounds on this. What? You might have got 50 grand out of this. I think he misunderstands the oh, fact that he has made a royal fuck. Let's, let's give it uh, 50,000 pounds? Well... It's an original song with with royalties and with repeats. We'd have been drawing up somewhere right. alongside. Let's, let's just, let's just wipe the slate clean. Start again with some professional who knows Tim, what he's talking Tim, about. I think don't that's overreact. Right. I think it's very simple. Don't overreact. This is the spawning ground. This sound is the sound you found. The spawning ground for the whole campaign. This is the keystone to the whole thing. Yes. yes so do you want to go back to Van Gelis or something? Think no, what no, it first meant to you. The client I loved it. Gentlemen, surely we can discuss this around the table as reasonable. We can, I can be up your ballpark on this. It, no problem at all. We can sort this out. I hope so, Mr. Valentino. I really hope so. Yes. We can deal with things like that. We can wrap it all up pending a phone call. If I can just... It's nine for an outside line. It's, so I'll take that as a yes, shall I? Him. Come on. It's the original sound. It's our sound. Let me play it for you. Let me let me re-inspire you. Come on. You'll love this. There was a slight misunderstanding. Mr. Valentino knows what's at stake now. Oh, damn. Hello? Who is this? He's with us. We can trust him, we can trust you, can't we, Mr. Valentino? What is this? A very, very interesting proposal. Do I have for you, or do I not? Yeah. Scenario, and uh, what I can do, I can um, send a cab round, round for you, for you both. Uh, what same place? Do you, do you live together? Leave yourself, 
Michael a favour, what I need, very short notice, no it's going to upset you, but there is a bang in it, there's a couple of tonnes, definitely, what I need is, is 11 musicians, yeah. It's up. How many times have we been down this street, Johnny? Eight. That many? Eight K in the ballpark. Eight K. Blame yourself for what happened. Deal with it again. Think about that, mate. Think about that. Go and do it, mate. Go and do it. not to embarrass old people. That's what I call compassion. Hello? Uh, Dwayne? Dickie? Where the hell is Ken? I've been trying to phone him for the last hour. What's going on? It's double important. Well, I've just got back. The front door's open. Phone's off the hook. All the bloody lights are on. And you know that Sid Lawrence out, that really horrible one? That's gone. Where the bloody hell is he then? I don't know, he could be anywhere if he's got that bloody hat on. Dwayne, listen to me, we must find him. Absolutely treble imperative, we find that man. Okay, let's start at the bingo ball. He's bound to be in one of his usual haunts. OK, see you there. Thanks. Around the world, I've searched for you. I traveled on when hope was gone to keep a rendezvous. I knew somewhere, sometime, somehow. You look at me and I would see the smile you're smiling now. It might have been in County Down, or in New York, in Gay Paris. Or even London town No more will I go all around the world For I have found my world here Decision If you take the right decision Happiness will be yours forevermore On the other hand If the wrong decision is made Life for you will be complete and utter hell. My solution to any problem is this. I always go to Marks and Spencers. Why Marks and Spencers, you may ask? Well, in the men's department at every Marks and Spencers, there's a little sign that says, if in doubt, ask to be measured. So Kenworth, remember, Every jacket that Elvis wore had a silver lining. Kenworth, you can run, but you can never hide. Forty-eight hours he's had as a solo pianist, and look what he's done. Cracked up. I, 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 I can play that. I no. There can be no mystery to It that. takes years, mate. It, no, it? if a deaf old bald man can do it, I can do it. Easy. You're talking about my father, then? Yeah, well, he, you know, he's gone and he's left me in the look. I'm sorry. It'll take you years to do that, mate. Turn on. <sighs> See? 
Yeah. And the news agents. It appears that a man has dramatically forced his way onto a plane at London's Heathrow Airport. According to eyewitnesses, the hijacker is believed to be a smartly dressed man in his late 50s or early 60s. Unusually, no demands have been made, although as it's an internal flight from Heathrow to Gatwick, oh, no. no foreign terrorist organisation is no, thought Dad, to be no. responsible. Today's incident is bound Dickie, to be... Dickie, I have an idea I know where he's gone. ...further tightening of security measures. And news just in. It appears that the plane hijacked some hours ago has crashed. Emergency services at the scene are fearing the worst and will bring you further news as it comes in. Turning to sport, the latest FA Cup... Practice playing these four chords with... Dickie, 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 Dickie. What, what? He's dead. Who? I've just heard it on the news. My dad's dead. I've what? just had it on the news. Look, what happened? He's nicked a plane and he's crashed it and he's dead. He hates flying. Why would he do that? He's never done that before. Which, he's not dead, dead. He is. He's dead. They just had it on the news. He just said that my dad's dead. They've just had it. You've killed him! No, no, no. It's totally unlike him to, to, to fly a plane. He's, he's terrified of flying. Stop it. No, he's, he's not. He's dead. He's gone. He's gone and... I mean, we were close. We were that close to 50. Thousand pounds to end, and he's gone and blown it for us. The selfish, selfish old Kenworth. Well, actually, the game's up now. Just have to phone the agency. I've got. Oh, God. Probably had a sip of that and then went and topped himself. His favourite chair, look. Favourite drink. Medium dry. Hello. Yes, could I speak to Marcus, please? I'm afraid it's Dickie Valentino here. Yes, of course, I'll hold, yes. Marcus? Dad! Nothing. You're alive. Well, of course I am, Dwayne. And where the hell have you been? Well, actually, Dickie, I met a very interesting man on the underground, and he told me that under every stone, there's a frog with a solution. Fantastic. Listen, very important. Keep Saturday night free, OK? Fine. Trust me. What do you mean I was 12 when you married my mum? I mean, this thing's going to be the size of a six-pack. OK, OK. Well, it's... To be honest, it's not just the space. I mean, it was the smell as well. I mean, it was horrible. I mean, your mum always pretended it was the dog, but, I mean, it wasn't. I mean, it, it was you. I'm going to go and phone Tilly. She's at the hospital. I'm going to go and see her. Hello, Dickie. Hello, Dickie. Ken, does this look real? Oh, it looks fantastic, Bernie, yes. Yes? Yeah, it's great. It's not too much. Ah, Bernie, uh, the accordionist is on. It's a lovely audience out there. And Did I think, yes. The um, other musicians for the Nice 12. Kenworth, I am working on a strict need to know basis. You do not need to know. She was admitted this afternoon. Small, scared looking woman. Can't miss her. You don't want any okay. dogs, are they? No dogs. No dogs. No, right, okay. I've sorted them out. Great. Okay. Good luck. Ah, uh, gentlemen, so glad you found the bar. Uh, what everything you need? Uh, drinks, crisps. Uh, Okey dory, Dicky. Fantastic. Dickie. Uh, oh, escort. Excuse me. Uh, over there, darling. Please, can I introduce Judy, your hostess for this evening? Uh, the people right. from the advertising agency. <laughs> uh, that's Marcus. Uh, uh, fuck any of them. Uh, that's um, uh, that's Timmy. Fergie. Don't <laughs> call me Fergie. Right. Royalty, eh? Hey? <laughs> Fergus, fantastic. Well, we're having a lovely job. She will attend your every whim. Mr. Valentino, I don't see any sign of Ken Bishop or the nice 12. Just relax, enjoy the ambience. You've got a fantastic act on, and there's an even better one to follow. He's a belter. Friend of mine, I'm just going to go in the... And a client. When's the client due to arrive? Won't. Yes. <laughs> Lovely, yes, ladies and gentlemen, Ian Lacordier. That's what yep. Pick a card. Money. The next act is a personal dear friend of mine. Bernie Cosmos! Man of diamonds. Oh. Bernie, you're on, mate.
Sorry to interrupt that, you know. I know you've got jet lag and that, probably. You haven't got any idea where it is, have you? Uh, nope. You're American, aren't you? That's right. Uh, I got a pretty good ear for accents myself, uh, Cornwall. Where the hell is Johnny and that Clyde? Where's he got to? Can you please find him? Quick. No, I don't care if you're in a queuing system. Cut across it, get hold of Johnny, get him to get himself down here quickly with a client. Open the pens. Take the top off. Now, on the bits of paper, I want you to write down your names, your addresses, a telephone number, and any times of the night or day when you might be out, OK? Can we please get on with this? What is going on at the children's party? That is Bernie Cosmos, international magician. I'm trying to do what you asked, which is to create an authentic New Year's Eve Atmos. Mr Valentino, there is more Atmos in my trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Trudy, watch it. You got any more lights back here? I'm trying to read. And, uh... That comes and shoots, isn't you reading? It sure is. Hey, it's that Bible to us enthusiasts, that, isn't it? I'm an enthusiast myself, yeah. Is that right? Hey, you yep. got something you might be interested in. Have a look at this. That is gorgeous. Hi. Made in Italy. Can I slip this safety catch off here? Oh, sorry about that, eight hey, safety first. Yeah, we're in a pleasant, like we're leaving pleasant. Lads had a whip round when I left army, you know. Joined army to forget the foreign legion. Is that right? No, just joking. <laughs> I think there might be some place where we could uh, maybe stop and get a drink or a little something to eat. I'm so hungry I can fall through my asshole and hang myself. Hey, it's a good trick if you can do it. Hey, <laughs> like to see you try. Maybe some place where you get a little tequila. Tequila, sure. That's your, that's your favorite drink. What's your favorite drink? You don't drink that in America, do you? Johnny. You're a sane man. Uh, uh, Tell me, why are the gun uh, control history. laws in this country so oh, strange me about it? I've hey, been in my life. I've been in my bloody life. Well, let me tell you a little story, okay? Uh, now, I was in Washington. Uh, First, what? Washington, what? In England or in uh, America? That's Washington, America. Right. I was there for the first time. I get off the plane, I get into a taxi cab, and I end up in a part of town that I ain't never seen nothing like that before. It's dark, it's dirty. I look in the doorway, there's three boys. They each got their own little bottle of libation and they're drinking real heavy, okay? I'm walking down the sidewalk, they come out on the sidewalk and they form a little chain for me to get through. Through, okay, right. now I just reached inside my coat and I just put my hand on my weapon. Okay, I didn't draw it or nothing. I just walked right on through them boys, and they spread out, and they didn't give me no trouble. Doreen, Doreen, answer the phone, please. Doreen, I know you're there. The answer phones, I know you. This is greatest. He always drops that every time. What's his name? Jesse Craig. Reg. Reg, here you go, Reg. Thank you. Thank you. See, it's not him, it's the puppet doing it. Thank you. It's great. Why don't you come over and join us in a in a little drink here, Reg? Thank you. Come on, Reg. I don't drink, but he does. Hey, I'll see he's like so it's having a stop I like that. I don't drink, but he does. It's true. Hey, tequila for you. To push her off the lift. What? Mexican wife. Hey, that's right. Why did the Mexican uh, put her in the lift? Ah, uh, tequila. tequila. No, yeah. Good <laughs> he, takes, he takes the shape of the bottle. <laughs> Ready? Cheers. Oh. Hey, you be careful, yo. <laughs> Where is the client? We need to have him wined and dined before the band play. Wined and dined? Wined and dined? He'll be here in a minute. This is why I've come to you, because I'm I'm going to take your orders, you see, for him. Do you have any special dietary requirements or Indian or Chinese? Vicky, just get the band on. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the thrilling climax of an evening of totally top-class professional entertainment. 
it is surely only a matter of time before the sound that you are going to hear live here on stage tonight takes its place in the pantheon of big band legends. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Ken Bishop's Nice 12. Come on. <laughs> This song was one of our more popular songs and tonight it's being recorded for a televisual advertising campaign. The only blot on the landscape is of course my stepson Dwayne, who cannot be with us this evening, I'm afraid he's at the hospital with his very lovely fiance Tilly, who is expecting her first child. Anyway, we're going to plow Dad, without a- Dad! Dad! It's happened! Bit touch and go, but I think I've sorted it. It's a boy! <laughs> January brings me down, February makes me frown, March and April go so slow, May is only just so so, but by June it's getting better, I don't even need a sweater, I call my baby on the phone, she says honey please come home, we need love. Bollocks on toast, they need love, love, the love, 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 Giggle, giggle, dribble. 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 The advertising agency said it will be shown sometime during Bobby Bennett's Know Your Onions, the Housewives Cookery Quiz. I know no more. Please be patient. That's one of your favourites, isn't it? I like that. It's very informative, that program. Then come yeah, Dickie, back. can you hold this while I go and get some love? No, no, I prefer not to, really. Go on. No, no, there's something about babies that I find quite sinister. Oh, oh, oh dear. dear. Oh, dear. Well, ah. I'm going to go to the lavatory, I think. No, no, I think it's the nipper who's always doing that. No, no, it's definitely me. Oh, is it? This Trust is me. All oh, right. I cannot believe old Stinky can actually pull it all together. I know, it could have been another foul of this. Very nearly was. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Look, adverts are starting. Come on, ringside seats. Look, that Terry Wogan. Hello, I'm Jonathan Ross, and I'm here at Smiley Supermarket to find out if women have discovered the joy of Pinky's rubber gloves. Let's take a look inside. Pinky gloves, here we go. That's the one. Doesn't appear to be too crowded. Let's see if we can find a representative British housewife to join in the fun this morning. Come on. Ah. Madam, do you wear rubber gloves? Would you mind taking part for me in the pinky rubber glove challenge? All you have to do is wash this dirty dish wearing a pinky rubber glove on one hand and an ordinary leading household glove on the other. Yes, I would for you, Jonathan. Now, madam, you've removed the gloves. Keep in mind, Wedge Prince there. Which hand? Let's see if my assistant, Wedge Prince and his pinky puppet, can tell us which is the smoother of your two already beautiful hands. <laughs> so 
that one. That's correct, the right hand, the hand that was wearing the pinky rubber glove. So there you have it, smoother hands, cleaner dishes, and so much more time to enjoy yourself with pinky rubber gloves. You need gloves, 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 pinky gloves, pinky gloves, gloves, gloves. Well, and that's it, it's over. There was no music. No music, and Reg was in it. Did you see your daddy? Did you see your daddy on the telly with his puppets? Did you? No, 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 that was Reg Prince, that wasn't the father. Oh, it was ever so good. Oh, no, don't tell me I missed it. Dickie? Yes? You missed it. Oh, bugger! Well, and, yes? It was very good, you've done a very good job. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Fantastic! Yes, yeah, we must be going, mate. Uh, no, no. You take hold of the nipper. No, but I, I really don't get on with them, you see. Right. I just... I'll see you about 11.30. Yeah, see you, love. So, uh, what are you knitting, Tilly? Oh, I don't know. I lost the pattern. You poor sod. What do you reckon then to uh, a bit of father and son tag wrestling? We'll get old for a No, no, not you. Me and uh, Spider. Spider? Just be nipper. We thought we'd call it Spider. Thank you.